Hi, my name is Laura Manusco. I am the 5 through 12 Percussion Ensemble Director here at Flint Hill Schools. I have four ensembles cross divisionally. One is my upper school, that's my 9th through 12th grade group. One in the middle school, that's my 7th and 8th grade combined group. And two in the lower school, one's my 6th grade and one's my 5th grade. I'm really thrilled that you clicked on this video because that means you want to know a little bit more about what happens in my ensembles. And I'd like to say two things before we get started into the bulk of the video. Um, the first is that I welcome all students in my ensembles. It doesn't matter if you want to start percussion um, your 12th grade year, you're welcome to join my ensemble. There's a really natural repetition to how I structure my classes in the fact that we are constantly going back to basics. We're constantly working on our two mallet technique, reading the clefs, working on our rudiments. And so it doesn't matter when or where you want to start, you are welcome in my class. The second is that I have a very kinesthetic approach to how my students learn and that means that from bell to bell they are on their instruments. I find it's really important to understand the kinesthetics of our instrument and also to work on technique um, and the best way to do that is to play as much as possible. So it doesn't matter which division you find yourself in, you are playing on an instrument from the start of class to the end of class. Um, okay, so to get a little bit of an idea of how my ensemble and my curriculum builds on itself, we're going to start in the lower school. Um, my fifth and sixth grade ensembles are my beginning intro classes, my intro ensembles. They have moved from an ORF based approach in their fourth and lower education. And so there's a really natural transition between ORF based approach and percussion ensemble. Um, and like I said, these are intro classes. So we're going to break down each of the main instruments and kind of talk about the objectives of each. My mallet instruments, they're working on their matched, um, ma their two mallet technique, and they're working on um, key signatures of about one to two sharps and flats. In their snare drum, they're working on their match technique, um, and we're working on seven to ten rudiments. And then our timpani technique, we're moving our snare technique to our timpani technique, and we're working on manipulating that pedal to manipulate the pitch. Um, the only difference really between my fifth grade and my sixth grade ensemble is that my sixth grade might move just a teeny bit faster. Their ears have developed just a teeny bit more, so they might move to duet playing a little bit quicker than my fifth grade ensemble. Um, rhythms are pretty basic in both ensembles. They get more challenging as we move um, throughout the year. And then as we move into our middle school, um, our rhythms have gotten a lot more complex. We're moving into different meters. And then our snare technique, we're still working on that concert snare. We might move into, tradi into traditional, depending on how my ensemble feels. Um, we've also expanded to about 20 rudiments. Our timpani technique, we've moved from two timpani to four timpani and we're working on tuning all of those. Um, we are also working on two mallet technique on our mallet instruments. We might move to three or four mallets depending on the comfort level, again, of my students, and we've moved to three to four sharps and flats in our key signatures. We've also introduced bass clef, um, and the lower school is mainly stuck to treble clef. Lastly, in my upper school, we now have a very solid understanding of our two mallet technique, and we've definitely moved into four mallet technique. This also means that we've definitely moved into bass clef and treble clef um, for our clef understanding. We also know all of our sharps and flats, all of our key signatures. We know all of our 40 essential rudiments, and we can tune timpani based on ear and interval training. Um, I will say as we move from our lower to our upper school, it's all about figuring out how your part fits within the ensemble. So with our lower schools, we're working on a lot of the same piece for all of our students. So we might have the same part, all of us are playing it. Um, and then as we move out of fifth grade into sixth grade, we start a duet playing. So half the ensemble is playing one part, half the ensemble is playing the other. So we're really figuring out our communication within the ensemble. And then our sixth grade, I mean our seventh and eighth grade has really understood how our part fits within because our pieces that we pick might have 14 different parts happening at once. So we really have to understand how we can communicate across the ensemble and fit within the ensemble. Our sixth grade, again, we're doing the same thing. We're figuring out how our ears can both focus on our part and then also open up to focus across um, the ensemble playing. Um, I will say there's a little bit of flexibility in the order in which we learn our auxiliary instruments. A lot of that is dependent upon which pieces we've picked for which semesters. But our all of our ensembles will definitely have time on triangle technique, tambourine technique, crash cymbal technique, concert drums, tom-toms. And we'll also all touch world music at some point. We have a really wonderful selection of world drums. We have djembes, congas. 
Um, we have steel drums and we have a bunch of different ways that we can approach all of those instruments. And we really want to make sure that our students have an, a holistic and world view of how percussion fits within all of our cultures. Um, those are the main points of how our curriculum and our ensembles build within each other. I will say again that you're welcome in any of my ensembles at any point. Um, the last the last two things I will say, upper school also has the opportunity to play in the drum line, which is a really wonderful experience. Um, those students get to play at homecoming and they get to play at different athletic events and it's a great way to understand um, how marching and playing happens at the same time. It's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy but like ultra mode um, it's a lot of coordination and they're they have a really great time with it um all of our divisions also play in concerts so our fall concert is typically a pyramid concert that includes our upper middle and our lower schools and then in the spring we have another combined concert of middle and lower and our upper school actually plays at george mason university what we call the arts jam and that is a combination of all the arts programs at flint hill and we all get to share the stage together and have a really wonderful collaborative concert and then our middle school also plays one more time and they perform at a festival um, and it's typically at king's dominion so it's a really fun time they get adjudicated at the festival and they get to spend the rest of the day in the park um, yeah all of my ensembles have a really great collaborative nature to them we really work on communication both interpersonally and intrapersonally um, like i said there's a great collaboration aspect since we're all working together towards a common goal and on top of all that it's just really a lot of fun so um, i hope i've answered a couple of your questions if you have more please do not hesitate to reach out um, i love hearing from you and i love knowing what you want to know about the ensemble um, like i said please do not hesitate to reach out and uh, thank you so much for learning a little bit more about percussion here at flint hill